Hi friends, this is a demonstration video of the pulpectomy procedure on maxillary primary second molar which has two roots as we can see in the radiograph. So basically the distal root is resolved but this is a demonstration we will begin step by step. First step is excess opening. So the tooth is isolated with the help of rubber dam. We will approach just at the side of the oblique ridge at the center and will begin to ditch until we find a bird drop. Remember to go slowly so that we can find a bird drop and when we are able to just locate or go inside the pulp chamber then we can shape the cavity according to the excess opening so that we can get a straight line excess. First of all our aim is to get a bird drop as we can see that we got this bird drop or drops immediately and we are now into the pulp chamber. Now we can define the excess cavity shape. So this is basically the excess cavity shape. I just missed the recording of the segment that I prepared so we are just continuing with that. Now when we have prepared the shape of the excess cavity now you can see that there is the roof of the pulp chamber just beneath the two openings. So this is the roof and the canals are there and with some debris are there. So we will remove this uh, roof of the pulp chamber with the help of round bar. So now as we have removed the roof of the pulp chamber now we can see that there are canal opening clearly and along with that there are some debris. So we need to remove these debris either we can use barbed brooches or the spoon excavator whichever is accessible into the pulp cavity. And now we will begin with the second step that is taking a working length. So we are going to negotiate the canals and then we'll insert the files into the different canals over here we only have the mesobuccal and the palatal canals distal is root is resolved so we are just going to take the working length and we'll begin with the biomechanical in fact the chemo mechanical preparation so always remember that initial canal preparation is always done using a 10k file or 15k file and then we prepare the canal. After this we are going to irrigate with the help of saline. We can also use 1% sodium hypochlorite and 1% chlorhexidine solution. Now what we notice over here is that our instrument is inaccessible into this cavity, excess cavity. So we need to remove this undercut that is there so that we can get a proper straight line access so that we can remove debris easily. We can use the irrigant solution easily so that our canals are prepared well. 